My name is Kelly McDonald. I may have been born with low vision, but did that stop me from living the life I wanted? No way! It barely slowed me down. Today, I'm a broadcaster, actor, sports fan, and all-around great guy. I'm also the host of my very own show, this show. I've made a bucket list of things I want to experience, people I want to meet, and places I want to see. So join me on my travels and take a look at things from my point of view. This is Blindsided with Kelly McDonald. Welcome to this week's episode of Blindsided with Kelly McDonald, the show where the producers take advantage of the fact that I can't see if Suzanne Shipley's dressing room is nicer than mine. This week on the show, I live out my dream of being a drummer. I snare you into this sticky situation on the basis of my incredible beats. <laughs> also, did I mention that I hate puns? But first, the segment I love to hate called I Dare You. Let's see which friend is getting blocked from social media and possibly my life this week. Who's up? Hey, Kelly. It's Dave Arrington, CEO of The Network. You dragged me to every burger joint in town. So now, I dare you to expand your palate and take a guess at three dishes I guarantee you've never had before. I certainly have. Some of them I like, some not so much. I can't wait to see what you think of them. Trying three dishes I've never tried before is a dream, not a dare. Ha! Joke's on you, David. Dare me. Well, Kelly, we're here at the AMI boardroom, and uh, it's a little bit different than normal. We set it up very romantically for your meal today. We have candles, we have flowers. But before we get started, I've got a bib for you. Oh, gee, thanks, David. I'm gonna try to keep it off you rather than on you, so yes. we're gonna set you up here with a bib. I'm gonna go get your first entree. This uh, first dish we're gonna feed to Kelly is sea cucumber, and it's a, a delicacy from the bottom of the ocean. Let's see what Kelly thinks. Here we are, Kelly. All your, right. Your first entree, my friend. <laughs> I'm going to throw it down in front of you. All right. And it's about 6 o'clock. Okay. Okay. Wow. It kind of <laughs> squirts around. Hmm. It's fresh. Mm. Mm. How is it? My guess is eel. You know? That's your, your final guess? Yeah, for this one, eel. The second dish that we're, uh, we're going to provide Kelly is actually a soup. It's uh, a bird nest soup, which is a soup made of all the twigs and fiber and whatnot from the bird's nest. We'll see what Kelly thinks. All right, Kelly, I'm back. Number two. Here comes number two. Now, this is a soup. Oh, okay. okay. And it's not too hot. It's just a nice mm -hmm. lukewarm. And there's your soup. Thank you. Help you out. Let's see what we got and in let there. me know what you think. Yeah, Mmm, it's sweet. What's your guess, Kelly, on this soup? What Turn do you up. think? Turn up soup. Turn up. Yes. Don't like turn up. Yeah? Are you going to let me take it away? You're going to keep eating it. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Good job, man. This final dish um, looks like chicken, but it's actually lamb testicles. Um, let's see what Kelly thinks. Here we are. The final dish, my friend. Let's try it. Mm. It's squishy. It feels a bit like chicken, but. Like chicken, yeah. Doesn't taste like chicken. <laughs> it's like an organ or something. Okay, what's, so what's your final guess? Okay, calf liver. Calf, calf liver. Like that, yeah. Okay, perfect. Kelly, it's time for the reveal. I'm gonna let you know all the dishes you ate. And the first one, you guessed an eel, right? Yes. You were close with sea, but it was actually sea cucumber. Really? Yes, which wow. is found at the bottom of the ocean. I'd eat that again. How about the second? For the second one was the soup, right? Yeah. And you guessed turnip, right. right? It was bird's nest soup. It's made up of a bird nest, so all the things that can make up a bird nest, the twigs, the branches, whatnot. I actually like that. <laughs> there you go. Now what about this baby? The final one. You ready for this? You were eating lamb testicles. So this, I, I'm holding a lamb testicle? That's a lamb testicle. <laughs> Boy, they're <laughs> gifted. Wow. So David, not bad. Thanks for helping me be adventurous and try something new. Want some testicles? No, thanks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, another day of being a service dog and another day of watching Blindsided. That did not look like a bird's nest. I've eaten hundreds of bird's nests and they've never been covered in soup. But I would love to eat some testicles. Too soon, buddy, too soon. 
now for joking aside. Whoa, sir, sir, stop. You're about to fall down that flight of stairs. What are you talking about? I just went down a bunch of stairs. Oh my gosh, it's a wonder you're still alive. You're blind. I'm aware of that. Here, let me help you. What are you doing? That's my cane. Here, I'm just trying to help. Get on my back. You definitely couldn't carry me. Don't worry, I got this. I'm a lifeguard. Sir, can you tell me your name? I'm blind, not deaf. How many fingers am I holding up? I obviously can't answer that. Oh, it's worse than I thought. We're losing him. Is there a doctor? I'm a doctor here. What's happening? This man is trying to get down the stairs. Where are you coming from? Mm. I think I might know what this is. Sir, you you have a case of the, the you're blind. Oh. You, are, you are blind in both eyes. Mm -hmm. Very observant, doctor. I'm sorry, is that a sight joke? Because I don't have to help you down these stairs. Great! Great! Please don't! Wow. You go out of your way to help somebody, and they turn out to be a huge dick. Guess it's just the cost of being an everyday hero like us. Let's go back to the beach house hospital. Yeah. Here's your cane, sir. <laughs> oh, come on. Listen, I I'm sorry, okay? I know you were just trying to help. <laughs> I was just trying to help someone for once in my life. I saw somebody even more helpless than me, Crazy Becky. Okay, that's <laughs> offensive. Um, but listen, if you want to help me, why don't you just follow me down the stairs and tell me when the next bus is coming? Okay. Well, bus here, gotta go. Coming up after the break, for the first time in my life, I'll hold drumsticks in my hand and not eat them. Just kidding, I'll still eat them. Welcome back to Blindsided with Kelly McDonald. I tried drumming before with limited success. All right, zero success. Is that going to stop me? No, I'll be the drummer in a band. After all, they're the ones who get all the respect. Let's check something off my bucket list. Well, here I am at the stop rehearsal and performance space in Toronto, and I'm going to try once again to fulfill my dream of becoming a drummer. And the man that's going to help me is... Nathaniel Rustenberg, professional drummer. Thank you. Well, you've got your work cut out for you, Nathaniel, that's for sure. Where do we start? We're gonna get you into a lesson room with the drum kit, and we're gonna sit you down and show you some basic rhythms. Well, I hope this goes better than it has in the past. Good luck. Here we are in our lesson room, and you are sitting in front of a five-piece drum kit. And first thing you need to play drums are sticks. Awesome. So here's two of them for you. Thank you. First, Nathaniel introduces me to the hi-hat symbol and you can play it with your stick. Oh. Next, the rocking snare drum. So why don't you give the snare drum a good whack? Nice. Cool, That's your snare I like drum. that. Then the bass drum, that to complicate things is played with a foot pedal. So why don't you give it a good whack? Oh yeah, I like that. Yeah. All right, lesson over? Not quite, we actually just got started. Okay, where do we begin? Two. Nathaniel tries to teach me a simple rock beat using these three drums. Three, four. We just gotta add the snare drum now. Oh. And that will be on beat two and beat four. And I use the left hand for that? Yeah, right, so your obviously. right hand crosses over your left. Three. Three. Oh, sorry. You almost had it. Almost. One. But this feels anything but simple. Hello. Uh, I just can't keep a beat. Nice. How do you feel? Well, after many attempts, I just have to accept the fact that I'm not a drummer. Well, I don't think so. I would love for you to come down and, and watch my live band play and, and jam with us. Really? Like, like a groupie? Uh, more like a roadie. What? So, Kelly, here we are at our rehearsal space where we're gonna set up and play. I should have rethunked this whole roadie thing. Wow. <laughs> You're on the stage. Okay, so you heard my <clears throat> playing earlier, attempt at it. Can mm -hmm. I hear you? You wanna hear me play? Yeah, man. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I mean, 
the whole stand here bounced up and down these risers. Wow. Oh. It gets loud up here. Oh. So Kelly, I think you should play a song with the band, maybe not on drums, yeah. but on tambourine. Oh. Well, maybe that's a little bit more my speed. What do I have to do? I just want you to tap along with me going like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. I can do it. There you I go. can do it. Cool. Kelly, that sounded pretty good. Let's call in the band and get tuned up. Okay. So let me introduce you to In the City. Hey, Kelly. I'm Ashley Jane. I'm the lead singer. Hey, I'm Timon Winsack. I play acoustic guitar and backup vocals. I'm Steve Andrews. I play electric guitar. I'm John William Blakely, and I play bass. And uh, yes, I'm Kelly McDonald, the band's newest member, tambourine player. All right, Kelly, we're gonna do a song called Love Me. All right, I'm gonna count you guys in. Thank you. That was great, guys. Wow. Thanks a lot for me doing, doing this with me. This is like wild. Yeah. Thanks in the city. You're welcome. Can we get a group photo? Oh, yeah. Sure. Bring it on in. <laughs> OK, that was a good song. But what percentage of it was Kelly's tambourine playing? Uh, less than 2%. Right. I could play the tambourine better than Kelly, and I don't have opposable thumbs. You said it. Anyway, I gotta go to the bathtub. The forecast said a thunderstorm is coming. This is your Inside Scoop. Welcome to the Inside Scoop, news as we see it. With your host, Kelly McDonald. And I'm Suzanne Shipley. Hey, Kelly, have you ever done one of those paint and wine nights? Actually, I have. I mean, I am blind, so I'm not sure the painting is Mona Lisa. I did one with my boyfriend. We painted each other in the nude, like in Titanic. Oh, I guess I thought you meant a painted wine night, like, in public. It was. <laughs> they didn't let us finish. Just like the Titanic never got to finish its maiden voyage. OK, uh, moving on to the news. You know, it got hit by an iceberg. I was aware. Wow, I got hit by an iceberg. <laughs> That's a euphemism. In the news, a new smartphone app from Australia will help the blind community enjoy the experience of going to the movies by syncing the descriptive video track with the audio of the movie. The pilot program was almost canceled after testing on Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice. When they realized that the problem was, the movie just sucked. Ah, uh, you know, I hate those movies. So unrealistic. All of those blue men and just one woman? Are you talking about the TV cartoon Smurfs? Of course I am, because you brought it up. I hate the Smurfs. I hate Gargamel. 
I hate him. He is the only man that has ever made me feel fear. Oh. Two blind brothers have left their jobs in finance to start a clothing line that features braille enhanced apparel. I got a chance to speak to them, but unfortunately we lost the footage. Lost the footage? Or they kicked you out because you continually tried to read the brand name on the seat of their pants. Like a good journalist, I was trying to get the spelling of the brand right. You mean you grabbed their butts. It was in Braille, Kelly. You don't even read Braille. Of course I don't, but how else am I supposed to learn, hey? In other news, a blind runner is about to complete his seventh 5K run in less than a year. With us here today is the man's guide dog who... Uh, I'm told by my producers, looks suspiciously like a man in a dog costume. All right, the name's uh, Ralph, and uh, excuse me for not conforming to your mold of what a dog should look like. Sorry. Well, my apologies, Ralph the guide dog. Whoa, 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 my job does not define me. It's just Ralph. Okay, Ralph. How's it being the guide dog for a championship runner? Let me answer that question. I did not ask for this. Excuse me? What kind of a guide dog gets up early every weekend just to run? If I wanted all that exercise, I just would have been somebody's pet, you know? Catching frisbees and stuff. Oh, is that a pipe? Yeah. No, 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 no. You can't smoke that pipe in here. What? No, 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 no. You can't smoke that. No. No. Drop it. Come on, I'm just trying to relax. My owner's got me running five nights a week. Well, it seems like many dogs would love to go for runs all the time. Well, good for them. You know, I really should have been was a drug trafficking dog like my cousin Dino. Now that's the life. So, um, are there any plans to go bigger? Maybe a 10K or, or even a marathon? Okay, better not. Otherwise, I will kill him. I will murder him, okay? I will run him off a cliff. I'll sleep on his face. I will take my leash and I will wrap it around him. Obviously, this has gone too far. Uh, thank you, Ralph, for coming in. Appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, uh, what are you doing later, huh? Me? What are you doing later? Thought maybe uh, play a little, you know, knick-knack, paddywhack, uh, give your dog a... Uh, okay, uh, well, that's all we have time for today. Signing off, I'm Kelly McDonald. And I'm Suzanne Shifley. Give the dog a what? Please. Give the don't. dog a what? What do you give a dog? A bone. A bone? For yeah. what reason? Kelly gets it. Yeah. Welcome back to Blindsided with Kelly McDonald. Time to climb onto my soapbox. The blind community tends to be a submissive one. I know what you're thinking, so that's why Kelly's such a demure and timid guy. And while demure is probably my middle name, we as the blind community too often let someone else speak for us. And having someone speak for you is how you end up with things like Donald Trump, prejudice, or the wrong type of burrito from that takeout place down the street. When a blind person says something, they'll often check in with a sighted person. And we really should stop doing that. I mean, sighted people still think it matters what your food looks like. And us blind people, we can tell you, it really doesn't. So let's educate and advocate on behalf of ourselves. Believe me, if I can convince a network to let me host my own TV show, then you can get out there and start representing our community with the passion and respect it deserves. And now for more Joking Aside. What do we got, Gareth? Well, it uh, looks like a typical murder scene. Uh, the act happened at the victim's home, so they likely knew the perp. You can tell by the outlines and the general blood and other spills that it's clearly a violent affair. I think it might have been the wife, Martha. She's the blind woman over there drinking tea. Aw, you think that poor blind kid did this violent murder? <laughs> you idiot. Oh, you'll make detective someday, but certainly not on my watch. <laughs> okay, that's okay. All right, Martha, let's start from the top. It started with a screaming argument. I said, that's my yogurt. You can't eat that. And he said, I'll eat what I want. And then I stabbed him over and over and over and over. Great, so when did you hear the perpetrator enter the house? She just confessed it. Call it! I'm sorry, my partner Gareth 
apparently has a problem with blind people. Learn something new every day. Okay, so who do you think would want to hurt your husband? Well, Mia, I did it. I killed him. All right, that's too bad. We literally have nothing to go on here. Wow. Uh, but we're going to do our best, okay? She did it. She just said she did it. Gareth, can I talk to you over here? Yeah, okay. Oh! Oh, she stabbed me! Whoa, you're, you're under arrest! What? Why did you have the knife? I gave it to her. She wanted to butter her muffin, so... It's time now to Ask a Blind Guy. Mr. McDonald, I have your fan tweets here. Good. And today, let's try not being mad at the person asking the question. Of course, Mr. McDonald. Awesome. First up is at Kelly's number one fan. Huh. Well, that's not true. She's clearly a filthy trash uh, uh, heap. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, her question. Kelly, I just think you're the greatest. <sighs> what a load of horse oh, oh, oh. What is the most exceptional experience you've had that a sighted person never will? Well, she clearly has a butt for a face. But a great question. Uh, it would be support from my family, my friends, the educational system, my coworkers, most of them. Great answer to a woman who is clearly a tire fire, but with more fire and more tire. And that's all we have time for this week on Blindsided with Kelly McDonald. Tune in next week. And don't forget to tweet your questions to Fiona. But I won't be reading any tweets from anyone with a literal butt for a face. <laughs> Send your complaint letters to Executive Producer, Breakthrough Entertainment Supervising Producer, Leanne Brennan Series Producer and Writer, Amy Blythe Producer, Alistair Forbes Directed by Amy Blythe and Alistair Forbes Director of Photography, Suave Hoopa Editor, Jenna Jeffrey Integrated Described Video Consultant, Emily Harding Produced in association with Accessible Media Inc Produced and distributed by Breakthrough Entertainment Show's over Still too soon for testicles? Nope. Let's go. Okay. An AMI original production.